What's going on, ERB Sports fans? Welcome back to this upcoming PSA submission preview video. These are 23 or 22 cards I'm going to send in. I cannot remember the exact count. I've revised this thing several times. But this is what I'm sell settling on to get these out by the end of May to take advantage of the $16 special. So let's get into it. First of all, we are going to send an X Fractor of none other than Ken Griffey Jr. I pulled this out of one of the blaster boxes that I opened. Absolutely stunning looking card. Um, would love to see this in a slab, whether it's for the PC or to sell. We'll see. Stephen Kwan Purple. This card is one of the best purples that I had. Honestly, no white on any of the corners. Very centered overall. Pretty sharp. This one has a pretty good chance at a 10, and I'd say at worst a 9. If this gets a 10, it's going to be a pretty big card because I'm going to guess it's a very low pop card. Next, we have a Carlos Aguiar Auto First Bowman Chrome. This was one of the best First Bowman Chromes that I saw from all the ones that I had selected from last year's product. Some of the Bowman Chromes have like print lines on them. They've got a bunch of schmutz all over them. So this one's obviously a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and send this in. I think this guy might have had a little bit of hype around him. Looking at his stats uh, and age, he looked pretty young. So go ahead and send that in under the $16 tier. Carlos Aguiar pulled this out of a blaster as well. The MJ Melendez Auto on card. Again, looks stunning in uh, person. I'm going to go ahead and send it in. I know that he has a little bit of hype around him. Not a ton, but it's definitely a very, very good looking card. I'm going to take a chance on this card. This is a Shohei Otani. There's a lot of Otani in this submission as well as a couple of other players. But this is a hyper, I guess that's what they call them, or the Diamond Prism or whatever they call it uh, out of the Tops product. A little different than what Panini does with the hyper. I suppose it's called just Prism, but pretty well centered on this card. And I think anything Otani is a pretty good pretty good bet right now so i'm going to go ahead and send this in for 16 dollars. i think that came out of a chrome light box if i'm not mistaken i've got a sh um i almost said shohei otani again a stephen kwan x fractor rookie card pulled this again out of a blaster or maybe the hobby no a blaster because the x fractors come out of blasters i'm going to go ahead and send that one in i've got a julio rodriguez um Base card. I know base cards aren't that great, but it's a Julio Rodriguez, which are tough pulls because it's a 400 card checklist. So I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on that one and hope that it gets a 10. We'll see. Next, I got O'Neill Cruz. Looking at this card, it has absolutely no surface issues. And getting 10s on Stadium Club Chrome, it's actually pretty easy. I was looking at some of the pop reports with Brett over at Step in the Box, and it seems like many, many people, like the percentages of 10s on a lot of these cards is really high. So I think quality control on this product was a lot better than we've seen in other Chrome products. So I'm going to go ahead and send that in. I just really love that card. Uh, Michael Harris, I got this out of the, um, the Super Box, as you guys remember. And Michael Harris, this is the Silver Foil. It looks really good. The only gripe on this card is I think the way they cut these cards. I don't know how they're going to ding you on this or not. It is kind of based on the way the card was cut. A little bit of edge issues over here, but overall centering looks pretty solid. And I can't really find another flaw with this card on the corners or anything. So hoping this one maybe gets a chance at a 10 and I uh, would love to see it in a slab. Next one, probably taking a little bit of a chance on this card, but I was trying to get to a reasonable number of cards in the submission to meet the 20 card criteria this is a trey turner trophy hunters but this is the gold version out of 50 it's numbered 46 out of 50 there's got to be a trey turner collector out there who would love this card in a slab and i think this guy's probably destined for the hall of fame someday so i'm going to go ahead and send that in for 16 bucks next tatis is back he's playing pretty well that team is probably going to go deep into the playoffs this year i would bet um, if he stays healthy, this is the wave refractor, which was in the destiny parallel. These are a little bit tougher pulls, even though there is a pretty short checklist on this. Looking at all the pulls that I had for any of the parallels, I think the destiny and dynasty were the least number of pulls that I had. I think if you look at like the trophy hunters or the team of the future, which you'll see here in a bit, those were pretty common. These were a little bit more rare. So I think this card will probably have a low pop to it and Tatis. If people forgive him for the uh, PEDs thing that he was popped for while he was trying to get better after the injury, uh, you never know when his hobby value could take off. And he is a definite future MVP candidate if he gets going again. 
So I'm going to go ahead and send that one in. Next, I have a Spencer Torkelson um, base card again. Again, I was probably stretching a little bit to send this card in. I do think he has potential, but uh, he's not really playing that well right now. But for $16, I figured I'd go ahead and send it in because I couldn't find many flaws with this card. I think it had a really good chance at a 10. Bryson Stott, I was looking for another Sapphire card that I got out of the Update Sapphire box that I opened. I pulled kind of three or four good rookies. I sent the Bobby to KC card connection of the debut that I graded that got a nine. I sold the Stephen Kwan Orange Raw. That was the rookie debut. And this is the best card that I could find from what I have left. I have a Seiya Suzuki. I think I have another um, Jose Miranda. But this is the best centered one that I had, and it is a Bryson Stott. So really thought that Bryson Stott was playing pretty well right now, and I would love to see this one in a slab. Speaking of Seiya Suzuki, I've got another Meyer Purple. Again, this one was maybe a little bit off on centering, but no white on the corners. This one is a 9 for sure. If I see this one get an 8, I would be shocked. The centering on this one was good top to bottom. A little bit off left to right, but I think it's still within the range. Good corners on this one, and overall, pretty good looking card. Next, we got a Wave of the Future, Ronald Acuna. This one, again, might be a little bit of a stretch, but again, I think he could win the MVP this year if he stays healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on this one, given the fact that he is playing really well right now. And again, Wave Refractors were a little bit harder to come by. Next, we've got another x Fractor. This one is Ichiro Suzuki. Ichiro for short. When he was pitching, I think this might have been when he was filling in late in like a game that was um, like destined for like 17 innings or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on this one as well. We've got a Julio Rodriguez again on the team of the future. This is just the base version. Again, I, I'm probably taking a little bit of a chance here, but I'm going to go ahead and send it in anyway because it looked really clean and I couldn't find any surface issues with the card. And uh, Julio will sell no matter what. All right, we got four more cards to go, and I'll hopefully end on a bang. Maybe not a bang bang, but, you know, some pretty good cards. So we got a Jackson Chorio. Again, I had a, a couple of these, and this was the best copy that I could find. I've had a tough time on Bowman getting 10s. The only Bowman card that I got a 10 on so far of all the ones I've sent in from 2022 was the Ellie De La Cruz Mojo Autograph. I have not gotten 10s on any other card. I've gotten 9s on all of them. So these are going to be tough grades. But given that Jackson Troyo plays for my Milwaukee Brewers, and he is really one of the best prospects to come around in a while, going to go ahead and send this one. I, I already have one at PSA now under the $16 tier that is in assembly. So that should be coming back pretty soon. And so we'll see what that one holds for us as well as this one if I get nines on both of them it is what it is but I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on that we've got a duplicate this is back-to-back -back jacks on the Shohei Otani from series one this is the Meyer purple these are very very clean guys this this was probably other than maybe just a little bit heavy on the the bottom versus the top but these cards have really good eye appeal very good on the corners. I didn't see any whitening. I think these cards have a decent shot at a 10. Um, if I get ten, a 10 on one of them, I'd probably say it's this one over the other one. But just because of the centering is a little bit better on this one, I can just kind of look at this kind of eye-wise. But uh, again, I would be shocked if these don't get at least a 9. And I think one of them has a very good shot at a 10. So Shohei Otani playing really well, obviously could win MVP for the American League this year, and I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on that. And then last but not least, another Shohei Otani card. This is the x Fractor. I pulled this actually after hours with Step in the Box. Brett and I were opening up some, uh, not hobby boxes, but blaster boxes off camera when we were doing our batter up segment last Saturday night. And I pulled the Shohei Otani x Fractor in the last pack. So again, I think this card looks really well, presents pretty well, and Shohei Otani is, is really selling really quite well right now. So I'm going to go ahead and send that in under the $16 tier as well. And I hope for the best. So I know this order is kind of weird because I don't see anything in here that I would get upcharged for. But I tried to stick to cards that if I get the right grade, even if I got a 9, I'd probably have a chance at breaking even because the cards are a little bit more rare. But there's 
probably a good chance that I get at least 10 to 12 tens in here and you just get it on the right cards and you're going to do just fine. So taking a chance, wanted to get one more order in. I can't remember how many I got. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments below how many I actually had in the video. I think it might've been 20, 21, 22, somewhere in there. So that's the last submission I'm going to do under that tier. I've got another submission that I will prepare eventually, probably more towards the mid summertime. It is made up of 2021 update, uh, other 2021 products and older than that with some Steph Curry from like 2017. So stay tuned for that preview video. Let me know in the comments what you think of these cards and uh, hope to see you in the next video. And if we ever run into each other, if you're at the National, I will be at the National on Saturday and Sunday. That is coming up in a couple of months. If you see me at the Midwest Monster, I should be going on Saturday. Hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.